Well, good morning. We're going bluegill fishing in a spot we used to frequent. If you are enjoying our videos, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification button for upcoming videos. See you at the fishing spot. Again, this first pole I'm gonna throw out uh, for sunfish. I got two jig heads with red worms, about a foot and a half leader line, eighth ounce weight. First cast of the day. There's bites right there. The what? The beeping sound? No. Beep, 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 beep. I don't hear shit. I keep hearing this. <laughs> I think you were hearing that fish coming. <laughs> Maybe that, man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, hey, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, got first bluegill on of the day. I think he's a small one. And for what it's worth, went for the top jig on a red worm. Boy, that's tiny right there. Get this guy back. Okay, and for a lure, we're gonna throw out this little spinning bait right here. It's got really good motion too, so maybe for a bass on this. Casting range. No, I just need a freaking fish. Okay, got another hookup again. Pretty sure he's small. Seems to be a bunch of small bluegill today. There we go right there. The worst ones are though, when you get something on, you lose it and end up with a snag, rock snag. <laughs> like like he ran into the rocks or something. And exactly. you're just, oh I just man. I had one do that to me, it was a shiner. Ended up being a nice size shiner. First cast out. Boom, he dumped my, my, my uh, bobber down, and I start reeling him in. I'm like, oh shit, this might be a nice crappie, because the way he fell, he like, felt like it had some weight to it. And he took me up underneath the weeds, and I held it for a minute, had him stuck right there, and I'm like, fuck, if I pull this little fucking two-pound test line, I'm breaking it. <laughs> so I said, let me, let me give him some slack and see if he would come up out of the weeds, and sure enough, he did. Oh, dude, I just learning that technique. I'm always trying to fight and fight against it and stuff, and yeah. sometimes you just gotta trust in the fish might yeah. free you. She
leader in the middle of a fire been a leader the lover and the fighter yet everything in me gone tell me not to give up there's an evil under there with the hair trigger tell me now or never cause this is my life it's all coming down to me this time been close to the sun but never seen the light i see him coming now i see him coming now Again, always going for that top jig. Beautiful colors on there. Strong yellow orange on the bottom. Nice purebred bluegill.
Oh, you know what? Yeah, is it that or is it just a wounded fish? Okay, and it might be a predator down there. I was tempted to go cast right in it. I couldn't tell if it was two or three fish or even one for that matter, but it seemed like it was two or three. Okay, everybody. Well, that's going to be it for today's fishing adventure. Um, I was hoping for some red ears, some big bluegills, big red ears, um, but they just, there wasn't much action today. Uh, other people weren't getting too much either. A lot of people targeting golden shiners, probably to use for bait as stripers. So anyways, I think our next trip, we're going to go to Lake Comanche and target some trout. So keep an eye out for that video. And if you are enjoying the videos, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification button for upcoming videos. See you on the next trip.